started right at the beginning. I got away positively enough. But Shami particularly, he just had a beautiful lead down that area of uncertainty. And that was an uncertain little prod, wasn't it, from Martin Guttel? That was the first to go. Munro hinted at maybe getting away. He didn't hit that one brilliantly, but still went for four. So he'd gone bang, bang, had we start. Cam Williamson played a beautiful shot to get underway there, didn't he? And Colin Munro just driving it one on the up. Shami able to hit that beautiful length again and just get it to nip back. Ross Taylor took his time to get in. He had to work really hard for his runs. And he started to get something going with his captain. The two most experienced players, the two very much world-class cricketers out there starting to right ship for New Zealand. Things are starting to look very good until Ross Taylor using his feet as he likes to. The spinners just popped one back. And it was the start of the rot, really, as far as New Zealand goes, especially when the spinners came back on. That was a chance. In fielding wasn't particularly good, although they did take some nice catches. We'll see what's coming up very shortly. Another caught and bowled for Shahal. Tossed it up. What I liked about yeah. the spinners was they lighted the ball and invited the drive. And when they got the drive, Dylan off the catches. Nichols got a, well, a gift early on to get him started. Williamson picked that one up quite nicely. But then I think Nichols would be really disappointed with that dismissal. It was a good catch, good piece of work. But it was a soft dismissal. Came Williamson up to 50, but not overly animated. He knew it was only half the job done. That was Santner. They bowled short at Santner. He got away with a couple. They've definitely got a plan to bowl short to Santner. He had a small start of 14 before he just played all around one and was LBW. Show me coming back and doing the job there for a skipper. And from this point, it was the wrist spin of the Indians. Yadav was able to force Kane Williamson into an error. He was trying to go square with that. He'd be disappointed with that dismissal. Doug Bracewell, really, I don't think he picked the way that was going. Gave himself too much room and ended up just dragging it on. Sharp piece of work by MS Stoney to account for Lockie yeah, Ferguson. Go up to the big screen, thank you. Didn't read the wrong and lightning behind the stumps, MS Stoney. Absolute lightning. Tim Southey got one away, square of the wicket. The Trent Bolt was the last to go, undone by the wrong and like a few before him. Things went pretty poor. Very, very quickly. Nothing from the openers. There was a decent score of 64 by the skipper. Taylor, 24. Those two needed to bat longer. The middle order was absolutely ripped out, as was the lower middle. Brace were failing to use an opportunity there. And then the tail had no idea against the wrist spin that India has brought to New Zealand. All out for 157. All the bowlers used were exceptional, even the part-time Kedar Jadav picked up the one wicket, an outstanding catch as well from his fellow spinner, Kuldeep. And a new, unusual situation where India had to bat before the dinner break because they bowled New Zealand out. A close shout that was given not out would have clipped. A bit of luck early on for Shikadar one as he was foot searching for some form and the ball was bouncing around. And Rohit Sharma said, I've had enough of this. And then that was the moment, the shot that changed things for Shikha Darwin. Followed up by that, you could just see the confidence grow. You could see the foot movement go. And when you see him playing through point like that, you know he is in hot, hot form. And with this extra pace and bounce, it was there. Sharma out to Doug Bracewell, who bowled excellent spell. And then we had a period for 30 minutes where we had to stop play because there was too much sunlight when they came back out. Doug Bracewell had an opportunity to get out. Shikadal and Tom Latham couldn't get there. Just couldn't quite make the ground. And Shikadal was playing nicely along with Coley. And never really had any pressure, so they were just waiting for the bad ball. It was 150k, that last shot. Maybe a slice of luck, or you could say with someone like Virat Coley, it was brilliant placement through the cover field. Chikadawan 
caught up his 50 and nicely played. Virat Kohli, they thought they had him to Tim Southey and so did everyone else. He reviewed it. Looked like it was more a slice of luck. Take me back, just take me back a little bit, please. And Nigel Long found the little inside edge, but it didn't last too long. Coley fell for 45 of 59 balls. Raidu got some fortune early on and then decided I've had enough of this. I'm going to finish it. And I finished with a nice single, so it was a well executed, easy chase for India. And there were handshakes around, rightly so, because they played brilliantly. Sharma and Chikadawan put on 41 for the opening partnership before Doug Bracewell got Sharma. And then the partnership of 91 between Virat Kohli and Chikadawan. And at the end, a partnership of 24 between Rodu and Chikadawan got them through. New Zealand used just the five bowlers. Doug Bracewell, excellent, one for 23. Ferguson picked up one for 41.